Who should you pull for in patch 3.4? So as you can see, maintenance is literally about to go live. So by the time you see this video, maintenance will be live. But if you open up the banners super quickly here, so we have Hutel, Yulon, we have the weapon banners, we have Alhitham, Shao, and the weapon banner. All right, so in terms of 3.4, what should you be pulling for? In my opinion, if you want the short and quick answer, I would suggest pulling for the second half in terms of either Hutel or in terms of Yulon. The four stars are also decent as well with Shingshu and Beto. So the Forces aren't too bad. Ning Wang is kind of so so, but I mean, Xingxu is a very, very strong character that also works with Yu Tao, by the way, and works with the Yulon in terms of a double hydro comp with Yu Tao and Zhongli. So, if you do plan on pulling for Yu Tao, you kind of have three pieces to the puzzle here in terms of Yulon, Xingxu, and uh, Yu Tao. If you look at the first half banners in terms of Alhitham and Xiao, the four stars aren't that good, really. In terms of Yunjin and Xiao, there's like no real synergy here, and I guess the same thing kind of with Alhitham. I mean, there's a little bit of synergy, but Overall, you're probably not going to be running Yunjin with Little Hatham. On the Xiao side of things, Yao Yao is not really going to do much with Xiao. And Xin Yan is Xin Yan. Okay, we don't really talk about Xin Yan. Xin Yan is basically not the best. We're not going to shame Xin Yan. Okay, leave her alone. But Xin Yan being on this banner is kind of weird to me. I, I just don't know why she's here. But anyways, the forces on the Little Hatham and Xiao banner are not really that good. All right, we're going to be real here. They're not really that good. Comparing the four stars of the Yelan and Hutao banner, the four stars are generally better than the first half. In terms of the weapon banners, this weapon banner right here, this Aqua Simul Aqua and Homa is very, very strong. So if you do plan on pulling for weapons, especially if you're like a mid-game, end-game player-ish, or veteran, this weapon banner is going to be very, very strong. I would definitely recommend you pull on this weapon banner. I don't usually recommend free-to-play players to pull on the weapon banner, but this one is just way too good to pass up. It is going to be one of the best weapon banners in the game. Aqua Simul Aqua is a very, very versatile bow. Triple S tier weapon, easily, so good on so many characters, a very, very nice offensive weapon. Same thing goes for the Staff of Homa, a very, very nice offensive weapon. Triple S tier, easily one of the best weapons in the entire game. I would definitely suggest pulling on this weapon banner, as who knows when another strong weapon banner like this will come into the game. If you look at the Force of Weapons, the Rust is a very good weapon. It's not bad, it's not horrendous. I would say kind of in the middle, stronger side, especially if you have refinements R3+, plus. it can be very, very strong in characters like Child, you Mia, etc, etc. If you've only a sword, it's a very, very good option as well. You can use it on Kuki, you can use it on Layla, you can use it on the MC. It's a very versatile sword. The Favonius Codex, out of all of the Favonius weapons, in my opinion, is the absolute worst compared to the other Favonius weapons like the sword and like the bow, etc, etc, the Favonius Lance. I feel like the Codex is not really that good compared to the other kind of parts. The Dragon's Bane is a good option as well for Hu Tao if you don't get the home, unfortunately. Moving on to the Dragon's Bane, it is also a good option for Yu Tao. If you don't get the Homa, unfortunately, then you can also use the Dragon's Bane. It will be somewhat usable on Yao Yao. You can use it on characters like Shang Ling, even though the catch is better, to be honest. But it definitely has its use. Last, the Lithic Blade is a niche weapon. This weapon is very, very niche, not only in terms of it being only on limited banner, as it is a limited four star weapon, it is not on standard. The weapon also has a niche passive where you do need leeway characters to proc the passive. I don't want to say it's complete trash, but it is an extremely niche niche or trying to get the max value of the weapon may not always be doable and this is most likely going to be one of the only times i highly suggest you pull on this weapon banner if you have the spare primo gems to put towards it the flu is pretty banned the witsif is very very cranked the lithic spear is pretty niche as explained prior in terms of the lithic blade and pain slasher is pain slasher okay the sagbo is pretty decent pretty good weapon i mean you can use favonius if you do have it which you should but you most likely already have the favonius probably Built. It can be a little redundant with the sack bow, but it also can work if your Favonius is being held by somebody else, such as Goro, maybe you have it on Feruzen, etc, etc. But yeah, that is essentially it for the who to pull for video. Overall, I think if you're a new player, I would highly recommend picking up Hugh Tower Yalon, as they're both very, very strong characters that will help you easily beat the game with minimal effort. If you're mid-game, entering end-game, or if you're already a veteran and you don't have any 5-star weapons, and you have a decent character to roster size, I would highly recommend pulling for the Staff of Homa or the Aqua Summon Lakura. Trust me when I say this, it is the best weapon banner in the game to date. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video in terms of what you should be pulling for in 3.4. I just personally think the first half in 3.4 was just completely shafted by the second half. But hey, it is what it is. But yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, all the good stuff. And I'll see you boys in the next one. Tell my brothers when they we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. I'ma tell me one day I'll be famous. Remember.
remember when she used to say she hate this. Back then, they would laugh when I say shit. Now, 